This is Kiana May Valencia from Grade 11 Loyalty. I am here to present the egg drop experiment for my science project. I am to drop the egg from the third floor of our house and let's see what happens. These materials I will be using for the project. First, two long balloons, eight balloons circled, nylon thread, scissors, and air pumper. I pump all of the balloons, the long and the circle ones, and knot it all together. For the long balloons, I make two so I can put the egg in the center. Like so, as you can see, I put the egg between the two long balloons. Then I'm gonna knot it later using the nylon thread. Then I knot all of the circle balloons. To make four actually eight four at the bottom and four at the top then i will tie it now with it's the, the time we're gonna drop the egg from the third floor and see if it survive or it will shatter to a million pieces and i will feel depressed now let's see the result it was at this moment that she knew Don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break. Yes, it's then I break it, then I break. Thank goodness. Okay, now we're gonna discuss about the egg. But first, I'm gonna wear my thinking glasses. And so it's make me feel much better. There we go. And let's continue, shall we? First question. What are the forces acting on the egg as it falls? The answer for that question is The egg drop illustrates the transfer of potential and kinetic energy. The potential energy from the egg transferred into kinetic energy. After an outside force acts upon the egg, the egg stays at rest until act upon by an outside force. Next question, how can you control the forces that cause the egg to break? That's because gravity cannot be controlled, but it can be contributed by air friction. To control air friction, surface area can be increased as done by the fabric sur surrounding the box. Wind can be dealt with by avoiding it or making the model stable. Next question, was the material the amount of it or its compression factor that was the key? As you remember, I used balloons for my project because I used a long balloon to protect the egg and used more balloons to give more protection on the egg. Compression factor was the key. Next question, what are the common characteristics of the material that protect the egg? Well, the common characteristics are usually the materials used are light and absorb impact. Next question, did the layering of the materials play a role in protection? The, that for, for that question, yes it did. I assure you that the first layer will be the one to absorb the impact first. Next, what about your design made the egg break or not? My idea of the design was to place the egg in between the two balloons and cover it with four balloons on top and bottom. I threw the egg from the third floor of our house and the egg didn't, did not break. Last question. How would you design your container differently next time? Well, I would like to add a carriage for the egg, which is in the midsection of the balloon, to add more protection of it. And that's my video about the egg drop experiment. I want to thank you all for watching. See you next time!